Today we're going to look at the I versus V characteristics for a lamp. Having collected the equipment, the first thing to do would be to connect the lamp to the power supply just to make sure it's working. Once you're sure it's OK, switch off and you're going to measure the current in the circuit by placing an ammeter in series with the lamp. So the power will go from the supply to the ammeter and from the ammeter to the lamp then finally from the lamp back to the power supply again. Once you've done this, switch on again, again just to make sure things are working OK. Now we're going to measure the potential difference across the light bulb. Voltmeters are connected in parallel with the component they're measuring. So the lead goes from one side of the lamp to the voltmeter and from the voltmeter back to the other side of the lamp. Ammeters are connected in series, voltmeters in parallel. Again, switch on, make sure the system's working. It's now possible to use the dial on the power pack to register a range of potential differences measured in volts and current measured in amps. There are six settings, so you should get six sets of results in your results table. Turn off once you've finished. The results table will look something like this. Current, potential difference, and later on you can calculate the resistance using the formula R equals V over I. Now decide whether to use the graph paper in portrait or landscape format. In this instance, probably best as portrait and draw the axes on the paper. Label the axes with the independent variable along the bottom. Now as you turned the dial which said volts, the independent is potential difference. That means the dependent variable up the side is current. A very simple scale would be 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 volts and 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1, 1 1.2, 1 1.4, 1.6, 1 1.8, 2, 2.2 amps up the side. The scale should be sensible and the graph should be as big as possible. Don't forget that zero, zero is a valid point because if there is no potential difference, there will be no current flowing in the circuit. Give the graph a title. And plot the points.
Note, you should always use a pencil when plotting the points on a graph. To tell the shape of the graph, it's always a good idea to look from the top towards the zero, zero. Uh, as zero, zero is a point, you can add this as a cross. Now you can probably see that it's fairly clearly a curve. Next, add a line of best fit, being careful to go through as many points as possible. And that's it. Here's a picture of that same graph.